A moment of silence for all the low attention span anime watching cucks that have low attention spans. We're gonna wait 10 seconds for them to leave because they won't be able to finish the video anyways. I don't want their views. 10 seconds. Listen, we've all seen samurais in movies, books, TV shows, all these different places. All the cucks amongst you have watched it in anime because anime is for losers, let's be honest. But let's be honest, like wherever you've seen like samurais or in real life even, you've seen their, you've, you've been to Japan, you've seen their stories, you've seen like how they train or whatever. They're pretty badass. Like they're pretty, they are the ideal warrior that every man aspi aspires to be. Like imagine you're just like, you're like in Zen, you, you're wearing that like cap, whatever it's called. You're standing on top of a mountain with your, with your sword. And you've just killed like four or five people that were like, that, that you, were or, you were ordered to kill. And then you're just sitting on top of the mountain in peace. Like, like you know you're dangerous as fuck. But, they, but then you know that you can tap into your peaceful side as well. Oh my God. That is truly inspiring, to be honest. But very few people actually know that samurais, they lived under a code, a code of life, which they called Bushido. Bushido basically means the way of the warrior, if you break down the words. Do means way and Bushi means warrior. So the way of the warrior. So Bushido is a set of eight different virtues which these samurais would follow. And in this video, we're gonna ex explore these eight virtues, exactly what they were, how they followed it, and a real life example of each of the examples as well to give you a more relatable context. So if you were to follow these rules, these virtues, you could follow them. Bro, why am I, bro, the, the whole time I've had my hands like over here, like I'm not, <laughs> I thought I had a sword over here at all times and fuck man, I'm not a samurai. But anyways, let's get into the video. The first virtue is justice. Justice means to always do the right thing. Now, if you were to extrapolate it like more de in a more detailed way, justice in other words could also mean duty, where you have committed to a certain path, you have committed to a certain cause. It is your duty to take actions in accordance to your goal or your target or your mission. Okay, so that is justice and duty is what? It is to do the right thing, right? If you've been made a father recently, you are a father, it is your duty now to take care of your family. And justice basically means to do the right thing. So now it is the right thing to take care of your family. This was a virtue, yes, but it was also taken advantage of really badly. Like, because what is justice? There is no real definition of justice because the right thing to do the right thing, it means different things for different people. So this is where, <laughs> so this is where uh, it was taken advantage of in, in, the, in, in the Japanese culture where there would be all these fucked up notions of what is the right thing. You know, the authority figures, they would, they could uh, change the narrative and change what it means to do the right thing. Okay. So this was a very subjective virtue, but regardless, whatever you feel your duty is right now, whatever you feel is to do the right thing. If you talk about very simple things, it is your duty to make as much money as possible. Like for me, I feel like it's my duty to make as much money as possible. It is, I feel it's my duty to create high quality videos every single day, which are at least 25 minutes long. It is my duty to take care of my health. It is my duty to take care of my family. It is my duty, like it is to do the right thing. And if anyone stood in my way, it would be my duty to protect my duty as well. The next virtue is courage. Courage, we all know, we don't need to explain it too much. Courage basically means where you do things you are afraid of doing, basically. Uh, the kids of samurais, basically, they were trained to like, they were trained in like harsh conditions. They would be thrown in a pit and then like crazy, like crazy fearful situations that kids these days would absolutely shit their pants in because they're too soft these days. These kids were trained in, su in such a way where it would just build brutal courage inside of them where nothing fears you. Like kids these days are, are scared of such bullshit things. Like honestly, it pisses me off. Like what has happened to our like population from 
from those days to here we have downgraded so badly and then we wonder oh why are people depressed why are people if i could if i had the courage i'll be brutal here if i had the courage to kill a human being point blanks like chop his head off with with my sword would i be depressed be honest and tell me right now if you had the power if you have not only power power is the wrong word if you have the courage to do like do such do that would you ever be depressed in your life if you know you wield that much power would you ever be depressed now think about the kids these days what the fuck can they do no wonder they're depressed like you can't even fucking do your homework bro bloody maths algebra you're failing and you're crying over here oh, i'm depressed i'm depressed of course you're depressed like what can you do that 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 you don't deserve depression you deserve depression cucks the next virtue is benevolence which in other words means kindness or having mercy now being kind and being merciful these are very two complicated ideas okay being kind in on, in of itself is not a very difficult thing to do and being merciful is also not a very difficult thing to do if i am a samurai for example right now and i have my sword on your neck right now and i'm saying subscribe to my channel and i basically like say that listen subscribe to my channel right now or i'll chop your fucking head off and you subscribe to the channel then i'll put my sword down that means that i had mercy on you i could have like you could have subscribed and i could have chopped your head off regardless because i didn't care so i was merciful to you in that situation and the mercy was valuable to you now imagine in another situation where i was some skinny twat like 10 years old this height and i have a small little stick to your face subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel right now would you be like would you be threatened and you just you just take the stick and beat me up right like what i'm trying to say is that mercy is only valuable when you have the capability to inflict damage on the other individual if you are a dangerous human being if you are if you are capable of violence if you are capable of atrocities and then you refrain from those atrocities then you truly give mercy to that person because if you if you would have gone all the way in that would that guy would have been fucked so in this situation it's very important for you to have that duality of you can inflict damage and then you are merciful then you're just some like loser that is merciful for like you can't give you can't have mercy on someone if you are not dangerous like that same thing with kindness if you are weak and like submissive and that kind of a person you are kind out of fear not that you are actually being kind to them right when we are kind to people these days it is out of fear it's because we are afraid we are afraid are i might be offensive to this person i might be i might say this that might hurt that person this and that no that is kindness in the form of weakness what we what the samurais did was they were kind at the same time they could be extremely fucking rude and ra- like rash to you like imagine like a person that can kill you like full fully like hancho proper like sword wielding guy he's being kind to you that would be so much more valuable than a than a skinny fucking loser kid or a fat kid who's kind to you the next virtue is politeness and this ties very well with the last point which was benevolence but there's a caveat in politeness as well where the intention behind the politeness matters more than the actual act itself of politeness what the code of bushido says is that you want to be polite again not out of fear but out of genuine politeness of where you appreciate that person and you are genuinely polite to them if i am afraid of being cancelled on youtube if i'm afraid of offending somebody if i'm afraid of upsetting my wife uh, so that and then she wouldn't give me sex if i'm afraid of all these things and because of that fear i am being polite that is not the correct way to be polite the correct way to be polite is that when you actually want you are actually wanting to be polite when you're in a restaurant for example and you are actually being polite to the waiter and because they like treated you so well you are actually polite to them you give them a tip you you tell them man you are amazing 
i hope to see you again like that is actual politeness not the politeness where it's coming out of fear which is what cucks these days do now there's a interesting point here where you could use politeness for deception where you can actually be polite to people and you don't actually be in order to deceive them so that they actually like you you don't actually give a fuck about them but you want them to like you know like like you and this and that it's a it's a it's a deception tactic as well politeness so i couldn't get much information on how samurai use this like exactly but you could use politeness for deception as well if you choose to do that the next virtue is truthfulness where the samurai is believed that the higher your social ranking is the more truthful you have to be it doesn't matter if you lie and cheat and do all that bullshit when you're some peon selling fruits for example like you're not causing too much damage to the world but they especially believe that when you are somebody powerful like a shogun or an emperor or you're even on the level of the samurai like it is your duty again it is the right thing to do if you are truthful in that situation okay and i don't need to explain this more to you truthful is a truthfulness is a very simple concept that everybody can understand super easily the next virtue is honor which in other words means self respect self respect means that you do not embarrass yourself what do you stand for what legacy do you want to live the samurai is believed that they don't just have to do the right thing in this life they need to do enough that their self respect is preserved even after death and if something embarrassing were to happen they would go as far as to commit seppuku which means suicide basically in order to preserve that honor think about how contrasting that is to our lives right now like people cheat in business you know they scam people this and that like that shit is not honorable in the slightest and this is one of the reasons why samurai became extinct because when Jap- japan was modernizing and you know outside forces were coming in business came with it and business in in of itself is a very unethical thing like you constantly have to cheat people like like it's not a very ethical thing if you look at the broader sense everybody is cheating one another like you know there's mixing going on like if if i want to build a building for example there's some the concrete is not like good quality like everything is like there's a lot of scamming involved and the samurai could not live in a world like this because because by you being honorable by you being truthful by you being honest you cannot compete with the cheaters of the world you just cannot your reputation is everything basically and the key part here is that you must re- retain your reputation beyond your life beyond beyond your mortal life you think about this right now what actions are you going to take in this lifetime which will be preserved beyond your life if i would die right now i have bullshit reputation like what what the fuck reputation will i have like zero absolutely zero the next virtue is loyalty see samurai is they were basically normal like soldiers elite soldiers and they had a master or they worked for the state so the state being the shogun or the emperor now whatever their master or the state tells them to do they basically have to do it so that is their loyalty to the master or to the state if in case the samurai were to disagree with something that the master is telling them to do or the emperor or the state is telling them to do they had the full right to actually talk to them and say listen i don't agree to this they could they could try to persuade them ki are i don't agree with this etc etc but if they wouldn't agree you know either you can preserve your self respect by committing seppuku which is committing suicide or you could go with the decision and do the do the actions despite whatever you believe in okay so this was another crazy thing where loyalty meant a lot if you weren't going to be loyal kill yourself otherwise be loyal that's crazy when you think about it and the final virtue is self control one big part of uh, self control is that they believed in not betraying your emotions in your face it basically means whatever you are feeling don't show it in your face have a blank face at all times be calm serene and do not overreact whether it's a super happy moment or a super sad moment your emotions will not show on your face and just think about how difficult that is i have this dirty habit of like smiling at like i'm a very wholesome person okay i i i find enjoyment in small things like right now i'm seeing this chair 
and it's like the, the the sun is hitting the chair like i'm actually seeing this right now the sun is hitting the chair and it just looks so fucking nice bro i'm not even joking. and this would actually make me smile so that so that's one of my weakness but, but but i don't like smiling i enjoy it but i want to enjoy it like in pe- like with a calm face like with a with a emotionless face that is something i need to work on which is actually very difficult and self control is not just in your face that is the hardest form of self self control but self control in basic discipline right in your basic discipline you want to do something you actually do it you don't fall victim to you know your addictions or vices or distractions or this and that nothing comes in the way of your duty and self control is the way you actually achieve that another concept i came across while studying for this video was budo budo means to the death now imagine if you were if you were to live with this kind of mindset bro to the fucking death like in business this this is so useful like you have this brutal competition like you do not care like if you go bankrupt nothing it's to the death motherfucker like either i make it or i don't i don't quit to the death imagine if you applied this philosophy to every single place in your life i want to get a, i want to get a nice body it doesn't matter to the fucking death either i get it or i don't or i die doing it or i don't like you won't die doing it but still like that that, that mindset like you're you're dumb as fuck right now you want to study that i get good or i don't like I, i i like there's nothing that can stop me like my mindset is killer to the death i don't give a fuck like if i have to battle people i have to kill people in the way fine It's to the death and that is fucking difficult as fuck bro now what if i told you all the eight virtues that we talked about are fake at bushido is fake itself the concept of bushido as we know it in the modern day was actually popularized by a book called bushido the soul of japan and it was by an author called inazo nitobe and these eight virtues that i talked about were actually from this book but what if i tell you that there was a certain agenda behind this book which is not even real let me explain so inazo was born in japan and then he later on studied in the united states where he wrote this book actually this is in the 18 late 1800s so 1890s etc so the book was released in the year 1900 so the book is right now more than a 100 years old the, the the agenda of writing this book was basically the at that time tensions between japan and usa were like rising in the early 1900s and in general the, the the entire world saw japan as this like crazy rebellious nation with like barbarians all these crazy motherfuckers like just crazy rebels in general this is how the world saw japan at that time and inazo wanted to change this perception of japan using this book and he achieved it and this book was actually written in english dedicated to the western world and as you might expect this was not historically accurate at all i'll give you an example later on but this book was later later translated in japanese and obviously guess what the book wasn't popular at all in japan not i wouldn't say not popular it was hated like proper like the people didn't like it cuz it wasn't true the sole objective of this book was to paint a positive picture of japan in the western world which he perfectly ach- like achieved it look at how samurai's are portrayed right now in uh, hollywood ran with it like hollywood made it like in, into the thing that it is today and bushido i said in the start that it was a code that samurai's lived by that is not true it's because bushido was never a written rule you know how the bible is or the quran is where there is a set rule of life like there's a set like system there was nothing for samurai's like that like it like bushido was just like a few loosely connected ideas which was passed down word to word right for example honor like you just tell it's just like spoken it's not written it, you don't go to school and study uh, this code this religion kind of bushido thing as a samurai you you never did that and what's more accurate is is that samurais were just like a normal fighting class of people some samurais they didn't even 
adhere to all these bushido rules that i mentioned b- before because it wasn't law it, it 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 is just it again as i said there was no such thing as bushido even like it was it was like very unpopular and samurais were just like a class of fighting people some were some would have loyalty yes some would so, but some would not some would have the self respect some would not some would have the justice some would not okay one common example would be that samurais were not loyal actually so samurais were known to rebel against the emperor when they were bringing in when they were opening up japan essentially to the foreign trade and this and that so they were in that situation they were rebelling against the emperor who, whom they worked for like so yes bushido is a very good principle of ideas and tactics yes we've been fed a lie of what samurais were actually like which is fair enough but i i thought it would be important to include this small piece of context as well and we just have to try our best and pick and choose what aspects we like the best from bushido from samurais and the way of life that he, that the modern version of them adopted okay the fictional version of samurais we look up to the fictional version of samurais which is perfectly fine now we want to say okay what part of this are we actually going to pick out and choose for example with justice pick the right thing to do define your morals right now justice what is right for you what do you stand for with courage i think courage is an excellent uh, virtue to take on do things you are afraid of kindness and mercy benevolence but not as a weak person as somebody that is actually capable capable of inflicting violence and danger and this and that and then you're able to show mercy same thing with politeness where you are not this little cuck that doesn't is afraid of offending people so is polite for that reason no be polite for actually being polite when it comes to truthfulness try to be at as truthful as you can you may have to lie in certain situations fair enough but decide how how truthful do you want to be when it comes to honor what kind of life do you want where you will achieve so much that your name will remember your name will be remembered for generations to come even after after your body has been burnt ashes or you're in the graveyard wherever and you know what you've done like the world knows what you've done and it was an honorable fucking life where you have crazy reputation that reputation will never go away now tell me what all will you do to maintain that reputation and to build that reputation in the first place loyalty be loyal to your friends don't fucking cheat on your you know nah that's that's like i would accept that like if you actually don't like your girlfriend you can cheat on her anyways don't don't like for example cheat on your brothers for example where you are flirting with the girlfriend of your best friend don't do all that bullshit man don't if you owe somebody money don't cheat on them like don't give them the fucking money be loyal to your people and they will be loyal to you in return and finally self control the faceless the emotionless face thing i told you about is extremely important for me so i'm going to ab- adopt that if you don't give a fuck about it don't okay but self control as a broader concept is extremely important okay where you have to control your urges you want to work hard do it laziness remove it this and that we already know this let's try to live as a modern version of the samurai the og samurais weren't like this definitely but let's try to emulate the modern version of samurais as much as possible so with that i'm going to end the video follow me on instagram if you like the video like the video subscribe and i'll see you in the next one man take care